Hey guys, welcome back to another Stamping Fun Friday and Stamping Fun Friday is one year old today. So I'm going to Reading Festival this weekend, so I thought I'd do something really bright and I really wanted to cheer myself up because the weather has just been awful. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. So I'm using neon pigments, so I've got Gel 2 Extreme Arctic White as my base and then I'm going to use the Radiant Mirror Shine No Cleanse Top Coat. So I'm using all of the Magpie Neon Pigments bar one. So from left to right, I'm using Joy, Zoe, Izzy, Zara, Dora and Fleur. So if you follow Magpie Beauty on the social networks, you'll know that they've bought out two brand new brushes to use in conjunction with their glitters and pigments. So this is the detailer brush which I'm going to be using with the pigments today because you can get a really precise point as to where you want those pigments. The plate I'm using is definitely one of my favourites to date. I absolutely love it. It's called Toro and it's by Petla Plate and I'll leave all the links in the description box. So I'm going to be using quite a few images from this plate. So those three that I'm pointing at, and I'm going to use that large one as well down the bottom. So line up all your pigments in rainbow order, and then just start patting them into the inhibition layer. So this is one coat of the Gel 2 Arctic White and it gives really good coverage actually, so I thought one coat is plenty. And then in between each color, make sure you really wipe out that brush just on some dry kitchen paper. So when you go on to the next nail, your first pigment is going to be the one that you applied last on the previous nail. And don't worry about the blend too much because we are going to be stamping over the top. So if you've got a harsh line down the middle, it really doesn't matter at this point. So these are now top coated and you need to float your top coat over those pigments so you don't drag them off. Take extra care around this cuticle area here because if it's not sealed in when you go to clean up and wipe with alcohol it will take the pigments and then you'll get white showing through. So onto the stamping I'm using Dashika black stamping polish. I'm using my marshmallow squishy and my messy mansion scraper.
So here are the finished nails all top coated and cleaned up and they're super, super bright. So I thought they'd be perfect for the festival. I'm just hoping that the sun actually comes out and shines. So super excited about that. So I really hope you enjoyed this one year anniversary Stamping Fun Friday, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.